Hey YouTube, welcome back to Luke's Amateur Hour. Today we're going to do a follow-up to the home automation call, call, video that I did the other day. Specifically around this guy, I mentioned that I was uh, running my heater off of the thing. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Um, but uh, one of the questions came in, I don't think it was in the comments, but uh, if you have questions about it, throw it in the comments. But uh, one question came in like, can you run a high throughput, high input uh, device like a heater for an extended period of time using one of these smart plugs? And my response is, well, I think so. I've been doing it. I hope so. But I had checked the specs on the plug, and I think they're inside here, owner's manual. Yep. And it does say, specifications, uh, rated input 120 volts, 60 hertz, 15 amps. Uh, output 120 volts, 60 hertz, 15 amps, max 1800 watts. I, I don't see a problem with that, with what I'm running it for. The other concern that was brought up was, is it gonna overheat? Is it gonna get too hot? And I said, well, that's a legitimate concern. That's a use for my infrared thermometer. So, it's cold in my office. It's always cold in my office. Let's just do on the table here. And can you guys see that? 63 degrees. Check it again. 63.5, 63. My hand. 75 degrees. So, it's a little cold in my office. Now, my, uh, my heater has been running for, let me see. It, it gives me stats. This is one of the really cool things I like about this app. We can check, and let's see if I can get you guys focused on this. It's been running for uh, eight hours, and I've run 7.9 kilowatt hours through that thing, right? So that, that's, that's a lot. It's been running a lot. This is my office, right? I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Don't know if you can hear that in the background. Just turned it off. It's been running, right? So. Uh, I'm not gonna take the camera over there to do the, the temperature check, but I'll call out, I'll do three readings on it. So that's 80 degrees, 81.8, 78 78.4, we'll do another one. 78.4, right? So I just, four readings on this, uh, I, I hit it from the side because I have the plugs in. Uh, the plug into it. So the plug itself for the heater is 68 degrees. So we're talking a 10 degree difference. I wouldn't call it overheating, especially when it's 63 degrees in my office. I'd expect it to be a little bit warmer. I mean, the, the heater unit itself is sitting at 97.9, 98, 98, 82 degrees. That's now I'm taking these measurements. 79 degrees. I'm taking these measurements where the heat comes out of the air. Now the heater itself is a, a style that has heating elements that it blows uh, it blows air over and then blows air out, right? It's not one of the oil heaters and it's not just an ambient like infrared or anything like that. It's, it's a heater. It also does air conditioning. Um, it's a Soleus air comfort control. It's pretty big. Its claim is it's the most powerful 110 volt heater technology on the market. True or otherwise, marketing is marketing. So I wanted to show that's been running eight hours straight. It's been running all day long because it's cold here today. My office doesn't have heat and the insulation's kind of trash. Um, with this switch on, right? So uh, I'm happy. I don't think there's any problems with it. I, yeah, it's using a lot of electricity, but you know my hands also have to be functional to type. So I wanted to do this video as a follow-up. I feel safe recommending this for some types of heaters as long as the heater is rated for the voltage and the amperage that you're running on the circuit. I think if you plug this into a regular house outlet that's on a 15 amp circuit, you can run anything you want that's rated to run on that circuit through it. So I have no qualms about that recommendation based on the spec sheet, right? And that's, uh, let me see, i me prove it to you guys here. Uh, sorry, the lighting in my office is kind of trash too. 
right there's the spec sheet you can read that capture it whatever um, based on the spec sheet and my own experience it doesn't even get hot 10 degrees I'm not gonna call that hot it's not hot to the touch still functions no problems tell me what you guys think uh, you running this anybody trying these guys uh, do you like them do you have a better recommendation this is what I like. I'm probably going to get more from this company because I feel like their packaging and their product is really good. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, you guys. This is Luke. I'm an amateur, and I'm finding uses for my thermometer. I'm so happy. Hey, have a good day. I'll catch you later.